Hey guys, welcome back to our Raising Chick series. We are on part two, where we're going to discuss where to get your chicks. Now you're gonna hear a lot of different opinions on where you should get your chicks, but here at Being Our Homestead, we have three recommended ways to buy your chicks, and we're gonna give you the pros and cons of each of them, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now before we get into any of this, you need to be familiar with two terms that you're going to see no matter where you go to get your chicks, and that is straight runs, and pullets. Let's start with straight run. All that means is that these are unsexed chicks, which means you have equal chance to get a rooster or a hen. And if it's labeled pullets, that means that they have been sexed as hens. And this is going to be really important when you go to buy your chicks because you don't want to accidentally buy straight run chicks if you don't want a rooster. So the first and probably the most common option is going to be your local feed stores. Now feed stores are an amazing option to get your chicks for a multitude of different reasons. Number one, it's a one-stop shop. You've got your chicks there and then you also have all the supplies you could possibly need. You can get your brooder, your bedding, your feed, everything you could possibly need for your chicks is going to be right there in the same store with employees that might have a little bit of knowledge on what you might need. Another huge pro for going to a feed store is the fact that you actually get to pick out the chicks yourselves, which is really fun for your wife. There's going to be a big enclosure right there in the middle of the store and you can walk up and you can choose your chicks based on how healthy they might look, the different colors you might like, and it's going to be a really fun time for you and the family to go pick out your individual chicks. Another thing that's great about feed stores is the fact that it's going to be very affordable. You can get most of your pullets at a feed store for between three and five dollars. And last but not least, having them at a feed store allows you to scratch that impulse itch where you think, I want some chicks, and then you could be home with chicks in about a half an hour. Now while feed stores are an amazing option for you to get your chicks, there are going to be a couple of drawbacks. The main thing being is that there's going to be a limited variety. When you go to a feed store, they're really going to have your kind of run-of-the-mill Rhode Island Reds, Barred Rocks, and things of that nature, which are great for beginners, but if you're looking for a different type of variety, you might not always see those when you go to a feed store. And that can be frustrating because when you pack up your whole family and go to the feed store excited to get chicks and they only have Rhode Island Reds, you might be thinking, I don't want my whole flock to just be Rhode Island Reds. But the good news is I have a little bit of a tip for you. If you do go to a feed store and they only have one breed, you can get a couple of that breed and then come back a couple of days later to see what else they have. Because you can brood chicks together that are different ages as long as that age gap is not further apart than two weeks. So a couple of other things to consider when you're going to a feed store is the fact that there's going to be a decent bit of human error involved. You are dealing with feed store employees. They aren't necessarily chicken experts. So with that there's a couple of things that could happen. There could be bins that are mislabeled and you actually get a different breed than you were expecting or a bin could be labeled pullets when it's actually straight run and then your chance for a rooster pretty much doubles. And the last few things to consider with feed stores is the fact that they're not going to be available all year long. Typically you only get them in the spring in the summer and you're not always confident of the source. Feed stores aren't always upfront about where they're getting their chicks from so from an ethical purpose you don't really know where you're getting them from. So now let's get into your second option as to where you can buy your chicks and that is a hatchery. Now there's a lot of great things about hatcheries, but the number one pro to it is that there's almost a limitless variety of chicks that you can choose from. So for someone that's wanting a specialty breed like a silky or a Polish, or they want a very specific egg color, this is your perfect place because you can actually search for those very specific things. And it's great because when you're on the website, each individual chick breed that you see is going to have a very detailed description of their temperament, of their egg color, and everything that you need to know about that specific breed. And also a great thing about hatcheries is that their sexing rate is much higher than almost anywhere else. It's usually about a 90% success rate in sexing chicks. You also want to keep in mind that no matter where you get your chicks, there's always about a 10% margin for error when it comes to sexing chicks. You know, we went to a feed store and got four Easter eggers that were labeled as pullets and one of them ended up being a rooster. Another drawback when it comes to hatcheries is the fact that your chicks are going to be mailed to you. And the fact that you're putting a live animal in the shipping system can get a little bit sketchy and there's always going to be some risks involved. And so with that, you need to make sure that you are available on the day that those chicks are delivered because your post office is going to call you and say, hey, we have live animals here. You need to come pick them up. But the thing is, this is kind of a plus for hatcheries. If you arrive and your chicks are, let's just say, less than alive, your hatcheries typically will work with you on replacing those. And the last thing with hatcheries, and it's not necessarily a con, but you want to be aware of it, is that their pricing is going to be mid-range, more between like that $5 to $8 range per chick. But number three, the last option that we would recommend for you to buy your chicks would be from local breeders. There's a lot of great reasons why you should use local breeders to pick up your chicks. The number one being you can actually look at the source of where your chicks are coming from. When you go to pick up, you can ask them, hey, can I see your little hatching operation here to see kind of what it looks like? Now, one potential drawback to working with a local breeder is the fact that it's not going to be a one-stop shop in terms of variety and the breed that you want. What's most likely going to happen is you're going to have to find multiple different breeders in your area to get the different variety that you want because oftentimes they only work with a couple of very specific breeds like Polish or Silky or something of that nature or you're working with a breeder that goes to the opposite end of the spectrum and really only works with barnyard mixes which is essentially a mutt. 
And one thing to keep in mind when it comes to local breeders is you're typically gonna pay the most there. We paid $15 per chick for three chicks just last year. As far as our experience goes with our flock, we have used two of these methods. We have used the feed stores and we've used local breeders. What we've noticed is that both of these have produced really healthy, hardy, great egg laying birds. And our neighbors who also have a flock of chickens are avid hatchery users and their flock looks fantastic. So now that you have all of this information, you get to sit there and think about what might work best for you, for your flock, for your family, and for your goals. And no matter which of these methods you choose, you're going to come home with an amazing, healthy flock of chickens ready to lay some eggs for you.